win and all the black people. In mid 2017, all the black people were getting and picking up awards. And what did our homegirl say, Issa Rae? Who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. Yes, honey, we have been out here from the forefront doing the work, getting the work, getting the work stolen from us, creating the content and making it like, just because y'all don't know nothing about our culture don't mean that our culture ain't lit. Let's get into this King of Reeves TV video. So I glanced a little bit watching the Emmys last night and I was just excited to see so many beautiful black people. The queen of the Andals and the first queens. Our girl, Cicely Tyson, was up there and she was trying to give a speech. Cicely Tyson was trying to give a speech, honey, and she was looking. They had her looking from 100 and 200,000 feet and try and get her to read some lines. Like, Cicely Tyson is like one millennial old. Like, y'all have got to treat my sis better than that. But the Emmys lit. The announcer y'all had, girl, she was all over the place. I couldn't tell if it was Kevin Hart or if it was somebody else. And considering all the drama that's going on with Kevin Hart, girl, he's probably gonna be downgraded to announcer. Y'all gonna get that video for that, honey. Just stay tuned. Cause karma come quick around. And girl, y'all better listen to black women because they told you. I told y'all. I told y'all. But other than that, we had a lot of we had a lot of winners last night. Um, I was a little disappointed by some of the stuff that was going on. Y'all had Nicole Kidman. You know, she was giving a two minute and some speech. Like, Y'all didn't play no music, but as soon as my guy Sterling got up there, this sexy black man got up there and started talking, and he was doing the culture some justice. He said, you know, to Martin and Gina, to this and that, like y'all doing it. Like he he was just getting those jokes out, and it was just it was just flowing. And y'all cut him off like y'all started playing the music, and he like wasn't even talking that long. But y'all let Nicole Kidman like talk about a bunch of nothing. Like, I'm just so glad Nicole Kidman you have won plenty of awards, girl. You probably have won a Grammy for just being white. So I mean, girl. Y'all let her talk. Nicole Kim has been talking for how long? Dip the lip. But Sterling won his award for Outstanding Lead in a Drama Series. And Sterling is a very talented actor. Um, I, I can't remember if he played in some other stuff. Was he playing in the other show I used to watch? I don't think that was him. But he's a very talented actor. Proud of him. Donald Glover was just snatching awards left and right. Our boy Donald Glover was just snatching them. Just like, I need this one. I need this one. Give me that one. Give me shmoney. All I want is shmoney. And he was taking those awards and he deserved it for Atlanta. I have not had a chance to watch Atlanta, but I know from what everybody was saying that he deserved it and that it was a good show. I didn't hear any bad things about Atlanta at all. I saw a couple of clips, but I'm just me being just and difficult as I am. I'm just not interested in seeing heterosexual black men, uh, cishead black men um, in, 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 in that. I'm just, I'm not interested in that. Like, girl, shout out to that, but I want some, some queer stuff. I want some trans stuff. I'm just tired of that. But I am glad that he, you know, was being recognized. Like, he's just that person. He's responsible for, then he said something last year about bad, bad bougie or something, and you know, he helped them. Like, it's just, Donald Glover is just an amazing person. Like, girl, I just know, I'll be the one trying to get his toothbrush or something and trying to, like, you know, I don't know, girl, may, I don't know, maybe brush my teeth with it, something, help me out, honey. Help me, give me some of that energy that you have. Lena Weath, I think that's how you pronounce her name, won her Emmy for, um, for her comedy writing. She broke barriers, like, this is the first time that a black woman has won an Emmy for for this um just shout out to her and her speech was touching i love to hear black people speak i love to hear us talk because we talk from a just a, a place of just we've been through so much and all of our stories are the same but different in so many ways like we all have a fingerprint but my fingerprint might be different from yours so just hearing black people talk about their success and what they were doing and her come up was just amazing because like there are a lot of talented black people that have not had the chance to have no light shined on them so, you know, shout out to people like Oprah, Ava, and just people just working and putting up good quality stuff and letting us see it. It was, it was just amazing to me. Now, there are some things I want to talk about, honey. This is a King of TV video. We got some other topics to talk about, but of course, we're going to we're gonna talk about the Emmys. Now, I did notice, and I always have noticed, that any award show, we always get black people, like black folks be so, you know, so religious. They get up and they talk and they say, thank God first. I don't think I heard one white person Thank God at all. I don't think I don't think I heard anybody, and I just I sometimes I know they do that at, um, at the country awards, but I just don't hear white people like why why do why is that? I want people to answer that question for me, and you can say whatever you want to say. Uh, I don't care about the respectability stuff. I just want you to be honest. Like why is it? Because that's that's interesting to me. Because like y'all know, white people go to church for five minutes and they good, girl. We've been there long enough for a whole hour break, black like, girl. The federal government regulates that black people when they go to church they need at least a thirty minute to an hour 
a break just for praising. Like, praise is what I do. And sometimes it's confusing to me because I'm just like, I'm not that person that believes in organized religion, y'all know that. And I was kind of shady with some of the stuff I said on Twitter last night. I was just like, girl, I don't think white people have to, you know, thank God um, at these award shows because they created him. I had a couple of conversations, people were talking about it. I'm interested in him, which I had to say about it because I think it's a it's an interesting topic. But shout out to all the people with Planet Melanin in these awards. We had some other people. Um, one guy got up there and he talked about Islamophobia. All the people that got up there and spoke did some stuff about Donald Trump. They, you know, they came at him. They were just tugging for his wig. I was like, girl, this is what I'm talking about on the platform. You denounce that type of stuff. You, know, you don't have to say, I denounce it. You denounce it with your words and your actions and how you present yourself. You need to take notes, okay, Cheeto and Chief. We're going to talk about that later on. I did not like this normalizing stuff that y'all doing. Y'all had Sean Spicer come out on the podium. White people just got out there and they were just like laughing and stuff. And this reminds me that the privilege that, you know, Caucasian, white people, whatever you have, is that y'all able to laugh about stuff like that. It's not funny. Like, it's really not funny because y'all are not, I think it's funny because because y'all not really affected that much. But for black and brown people that have been affected and stuff and just realize that this type of stuff incites, you know, all types of trash. You see these people walking around here with tiki torches and uh, bath and body candles marching in the streets. Like, you see the situations and stuff that we have going on. So it's not funny. But, you know, when Sean Spicer came out, y'all normalized him. This was a person that got up there and lied on front of a podium that's supposed to be this great place of uh, just supposed to be prestigious, um, truthfulness. And we all know that's not true, but he got up there and just told a bold faced lie. Some of them is the biggest crowd. It's not funny. I'm not laughing about it. It's too soon. And I'm just not feeling like just because he just quit not too long ago does not mean like we just normalize it. And I just was not feeling that at all. Another thing that I was not feeling was um, RuPaul and they dressed up as an Emmy. Doing yes, girl. Yes. Um, one of my guy friends on Twitter said, you know, we can't call that. We can't say that, you know, RuPaul was playing in a stereotype because those type of people exist. But it's just this, this person is always being seen like these type of people are always being shown like they're not different type of um, other black gay men or black gay women or trans women and trans men shown besides this so it was a little irritating I wasn't feeling it y'all know RuPaul smells like all lives matter I love him I understand what he did for the culture but I believe that you know the great wars to come child she would probably be on team white but that's another story we ain't gonna talk about that too much but I hope you all enjoyed the image a lot of other things to talk about we need to talk about the fact that black China is supposed to be getting $20,000 from Rob Kardashian. Mind you, she does not even have full custody on her child, but she needs $20,000. Like, they've never been married, no nothing. Like, she wants $20,000, and she says that's not even enough. She needs more than She wants all that stuff he put to her through, putting her news up and stuff. She just ain't feeling that. Uh, I feel like, yeah, you know, he dis disrespect her. Then she needs to be compensated for that. But I believe $20,000 for that, that's a lot of money, and I want you, I'm trying to understand where Rob getting all this cash from, and how long is it gonna last? Girl, only time will tell, but I can't talk about Black China too much. The longer I talk about Black China, the more my edges start to itch. So let's move on to something more pressing. Inti Beauty has been doing amazing. They have been running out of shades. The dark color shades, the darker shade colors have been um, disappearing. They are sold out. Like that's what I'm talking about. Now all these other companies have been saying, hey, we don't make this because they're the dark skinned women don't buy it or you know they ain't interested in makeup. But like Rihanna's stuff is just Fenty Beauty is out here out selling and it's doing amazing and everybody I've seen who's done reviews on it have been saying that really good things about it. My girl Jackie O, Jackie Aina, um, did a video. She finally did a review on it. Y'all saw it. I watched it. I listened to it as like it was a podcast. And speaking of podcasts, if you're not listening to For the Culture Podcast, I don't know where you been. Because if you can't listen to For the Culture Podcast, where can you listen to? But there are other sickening podcasts out here, clearly. But give For the Culture Podcast a chance. Me and Adrian have been doing a lot of work with For the Culture Podcast. Check it out. Send out some listener letters for the culture, for the message, message for the culture. And the email for that is hello at forthecultureparkcast.com. A lot of people were kind of messed up a little bit about that by sending emails. But we will read your letter out on um, on the podcast. And we will also put it on forthecultureparkcast.com. So y'all make sure I check it out. So Jackie O.D. her video. She said some really positive things about it. She said she had a good time, a good experience with the whole Fancy Beauty thing. She just, it was just, everything about it was just amazing um, and her husband looked amazing too. Her fiance, ooh, he's so fine. She gave rave reviews about it. Of course, she was honest about some of the colors that did not work for her. She wasn't feeling, she felt like needed some extra work, but that's important. Like, we trust her brand. We trust her, like, Jackie O is like the triple A um, bit of, or, or the Better Business Bureau, okay? She is just like, I trust her more than I trust BBB. Like, I trust 
across her because she's going to tell us the honest God truth and she's going to be honest. Now, if girl, you shave her, you be petty and she do review her product and you and she do review your product, she going to clown you a little bit, girl, because she show clown Kim K about those watches. I will holler on that. That was hilarious. I don't want to talk about no more whiteness. Let's talk about something more positive. 